Proudly, we hail. City, where the American stage begins, here is another program with a cast of outstanding players. Public service time has been made available by this station to bring you this story as proudly we hail the United States Army. Titled Light in the Night. The setting is Japan, where two sergeants face a dangerous situation while on weekend leave. It all begins as a simple sailing cruise on the waters of Chiba Bay, a bare stone's throw from Tokyo. The unexpected emergency gives them an opportunity to demonstrate their personal courage as well as reflecting credit on their training. They meet it in the only way possible head on. Our first act curtain will rise in a moment, but first, young lady, if you're a college graduate, your education can be a valuable asset to you as an officer in the United States Army. The Women's Army Corps has many jobs for officers with special abilities or with technical and scientific training, which can be utilized in particular assignments. In whatever work you do, you will make definite steady progress by acquiring new skills and continuing your education. Yes, the Army does recognize the potential value of your education and special training as a basis for a career in the Women's Army Corps. If you are between the ages of 20 and 28 and wish to obtain a direct commission in the Women's Army Corps, see your local Army recruiter or write to the Adjutant General, United States Army, Washington 25, D.C. And now we present the first act of the Proudly We Hail production, Light in the Night. <laughs> Pershing Heights. Thank you. Ring back, please. Thank you. Ring on two, please, Sendai. Thank you. Three, please. Thank you. This is Pershing Heights. Will you check the circuits with me, please, Victor? Right. Thank you. Are you getting my ring all right? I couldn't get you a few minutes ago. Oh, I see. Well, I'll try on three now. Thank you. Frequency modulation says not to check out the camp through lines yet. They haven't finished lining them up. According to standard operational procedure... Uh, yes, Sergeant. According to SOP, they should have all the circuits lined up by 0730. And not only that, Sergeant. The SOP also says that reports from FM will be transmitted to the frame room, which will then ring the switchboard. On 265-391, thereby eliminating needless traffic between the two offices. Right. Well, I'll just run right back then and call you up, Sergeant. I didn't mean that. Only the SOP... Oh, sure, sure. <sighs> Supervisor Sergeant Clark speaking. Yes? Uh, never mind, Sergeant. I have the word on the Camp Drew line. Dave, hi. Yeah, break town for chow. Not bad. Oh, swell. Anything I ought to know about? Nope, everything's quiet. That send I number two, it's five square now, and Steve replaced the telephone and personnel. Right. Take off. You see the captain? Yeah, I'll talk to Garrity. Says he's sure we can have the passes. Oh, hot dog. It's going to be a great weekend. First one this year. Oh, yeah, boy, I can't wait. I still can't get over how lucky we were to be able to find that neat little catch. And the best part of it is that it's not costing us a fortune. Yeah. And on a permanent basis, too. <laughs> Last year, we were really scraping to get one sale every month. Yeah. But now, if everything goes all right, we should be able to get away almost every week. Oh, that Mr. Itabashi is a pretty nice old guy. It almost looks like he's just letting us have her because he likes us. Well, we did promise to keep her up. We hauled her in and scraped her. And now, when we get the VHF radio installed... Yeah, I guess so. But anyway, why worry about it? We've just got a good deal. So let's not try to figure out why. Hey, 
What's the word? Nothing much, Harry. Everything's quiet. Hey, I hear you guys really got that boat you were talking about. Yep, that's right. What a deal. You going this weekend? Yeah, you want to come along? Can't, I'm working. Oh, that's tough. Maybe next time. You going to be on the weekend crew at Military Affiliate Radio System? Yep, same as usual. Hey, it's a pretty wonderful thing, that Mars, you know. A ham radio station run just for us guys in the service, by us in our spare time? Sure is. Gives me a terrific boot. Especially when I see the faces of some of those guys when they get a message from home. Yeah. Hey, by the way, where are you going? You think you can transmit? I don't know. Last year, we used to go on down past Yokohama a lot around the end of the peninsula. There's a little shipyard town down there, Uraga. Some pretty fair swimming, if you don't mind a few rocks. Hey, you'd never get Mars from that place. Too many hills between there and Tokyo. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. You know where you ought to go? Where? Out the other way, toward Chiba. Well, what's out that way? Fishing. Yeah, some nice little islands where you can make camp overnight. Oh, yeah? Sure. You get on the lee side where you're out of the wind, at least this time of year. Mm, it's right nice. Well, we couldn't reach you from the lee side. Well, test it out before you put in. Yeah. yeah, we could do that. What time do you expect to open up Saturday? Saturday? Heck, I can get up there by 5.30. We'll make a deal then. We'll come in right on the dot. Okay. Hey, any other communications on that boat? Well, we're putting in a VHF radio. We thought it would be handy to have, just in case, you know. Where's Sergeant Brooks? I just left for chow. Oh, I just wanted to tell him there's some trouble. Oh, really? Uh, well, Sergeant Clark, according to SOP, the supervisor should report all trouble by ringing through to the frame room, giving the location and nature of the difficulty, thereby eliminating necessary traffic between the two offices. Well. well she's got a crush on you, for sure. On me? Hey, you're crazy. And she sure has. She doesn't even know I'm around. If it's anyone, it's you. Oh, yeah. yeah. I guess we're clear of the mainland now. How about hoisting some canvas and cutting our auxiliary? Uh, Roger. Yeah. Brother, what a day for sale. Hey, you said it. Did you get a weather report? No, I didn't think of it. Look at that sky. Not a cloud. Well, you're looking very thoughtful. Huh? What are you thinking about? I bet it's that new little whack... June or Jean or whatever her name is? Uh, June Clark. Oh, last time I mentioned it, you told me you didn't even know her name. Well, so what's wrong with the remembering it now? Well, nothing. Okay. Why don't you ask her out sometime? Why don't you? She doesn't like my type, I guess. I don't know why you keep thinking... Uh... I can tell, that's all. You think she does? Does what? Like my type. Sure, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Now, it'd interfere with everything. Sure. Calling Mars, station WQ-735. WQ-735, come in. I can't figure out why we can't raise them. Yeah, me either. Now switch over to receiving, see what's going on. Roger. Mars station WQ-735 calling WQ-847. Come in, WQ-847. WQ-847 here. How do you read me, Harry? Read you five square, over. I wonder why we couldn't raise it. Did you get any signal? We were cranking like crazy. Can't say for sure. Probably so, though. I stepped out for a cup of coffee, over. Well, you're getting us okay now, though, huh? Sure thing. Have a good time, you guys. Over and out. Ah, boy, there never was anything so good smelling as a couple of nice little old fish frying on a campfire and a pot of coffee alongside them. And that old wood smoke mixed up with the salt air. Boy, this is it. Yeah. Hey, watch it. I thought you were in charge of the coffee. You got it too close to the flame. It's going to boil over. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Oh, for crying out loud, move it. Hey. Hmm? Oh, oh, yeah, sure, Dave. Uh, yeah, give me it. Here, here. I'm throwing the whole mess out. Hey. Nothing worse than coffee that's been boiled up hard like that. But do you think it would? Do I think it would what? Interfere with everything. I could ask June along next weekend, and, and then we could get Steve Newton and oh, his wife. Oh, for crying could... out loud. Oh, gee, she... She probably doesn't like boats anyway. Probably gets sick. Yeah, yeah, sure. In the meantime, how about watching the frying pan before you burn the fish, too? Huh? Oh, sure, sure, Dave. 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 Uh, Dave. Come on. 
Yeah, 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 well. Holy smoke. How long has this been going on? Oh, it just started. I'm soaking wet already. <laughs> this is coming down. Yeah. We should have brought a tarp in from the boat. Yeah, and with this wind, I'm not getting any warmer. Do you think the boat's okay? It better be. I just barely make her out. Well, we're in the lee here. Shouldn't be anything to worry about as long as she's secure. I double-checked that before we came ashore last night. Yeah, I suppose there might be a shack or a cave somewhere around here. We might try to find one. There's no sense in getting soaked. We wouldn't dare try a tree. Well, no, not with this lightning. Well, I don't feel like just sitting here getting pneumonia. Let's take a walk. Yeah, suits me. Well, we would have to pick the craggiest little old island in Chiba Bay. And on a night like this... Oh, my leg. Did you hurt yourself? Oh, this stuff could be soft, you know. Well, we're almost at the top. I guess the only inhabitants this place ever had was birds. Yeah, I know, I know, because it's for them. Well, how did you guess? Oh. Hey, look. The last time I tried looking, I almost broke my leg. Yeah, but this is a light. Hey, you're right. Maybe we're in luck. Except I can't figure out who'd be crazy enough to live here. Uh, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Fisherman, maybe. Come on, let's go. Yeah, okay. Okay. Every time this gosh darn trail takes a turn, that light seems to be in a different place. I know. Dave. What? You know the reason the light's moving? No, I don't know the reason the light's moving. Because it is. That's no fisherman's shack. It's the running light on a boat. Watch it. Hey, you're right. Can't figure out why they're using a white light, though. Well, why are they riding this blowout in mid-channel when they could come around to the lee where we're riding? It's not a fishing boat, either. If you look up. Just make it out. You know what it is? It's one of those excursion steamers. At this time of night? Yeah, and in this weather, too. I believe you're right. And she's in trouble, too. Yeah, look at the way she's pitching. That's engine trouble. Yeah. And that's bad. Those old tubs aren't built for this kind of weather at best, and with no power, even with a sea anchor to hold her into the wind, she'll be leaking like a sieve inside of an hour. Light just faded out there. The generator's conked out. Or they run out of kerosene. That means no radio. Well, we can't just stand around and watch a founder. Sure, sure, but what'll we do? I'm thinking. There's no way to tell how many people on board are. But even if we could take them off in this weather, which I doubt, we couldn't do it fast enough to save them all. That's right. You know, if it was feasible, it'd be feasible for them to put over their lifeboats. Well, what then? Yeah, we have to think of something. They may have a radio aboard and already sent a message. Yeah, but what if they haven't? Yeah, yeah I see what you mean. Hey, look, the, the light's on again. Yeah, it's blinking now. S O S. I guess it's up to us. Nothing else around here. Yeah. You are listening to the proudly we hail production "Light in the Night." We'll return in just a moment for the second act. Young Men America, today's United States Army is made up of skilled technicians and specialists who have learned their jobs in the world's finest military technical schools. And now, the Army is offering you even greater opportunities to join this elite group of young men and serve your country and yourself at the same time. Your Army now has in operation a training program that permits you to choose your own branch and train in the particular job of your own choice. It's called the Reserved for You Training Program. And it works this way. You check the school catalog listing the technical courses available. There are more than 150 to choose from. Select two and file an application. If you're accepted, you will receive a written guarantee from the Adjutant General of the Army or the Commanding General of the Training Division concerned. Then the decision is up to you. If you're interested, you enlist and are enrolled in the course of your choice. If you change your mind, the reservation is forgotten. All this can be yours. You will have the written guarantee in your hand before you enlist. There are no hidden catches. You see, the Army needs skilled technicians, and this is their way to train the right people. This is your way to get excellent schooling for a role as a skilled technician. For complete information, visit your local United States Army recruiting station. You are listening to Proudly We Hail, and now we present the second act of The Light in the Night. <laughs> Dave, 
We'll have to try to get a message through. Now, the Japanese Coast Guard doesn't use very high-frequency radio. I know. It sounds crazy, but what we'll have to do is try to contact Harry up at Mars and then have him relay the message to the Japanese Ministry of Shipping. Well, we'll never get him. Why not? We got him before. No can do. Too late. What time have you got? Oh, 200. Well, we'll just have to hope. Anyhow, we, we might get a passing aircraft or something. Well, we're sure sticking our necks out in this weather. What else can we do? Nothing, I guess. Only they might have sent a message already. And what if they haven't? Okay, let's get the show on the road. Right. As the saying goes, we haven't got all night. Reef her down another notch, Bill. She's fighting in too deep. Right. Boy, another couple like that and we'd have had it. It'll be all right in a minute or two. Yeah, it'll be worse. We're getting around to the windward side now. The auxiliary won't give us enough power to keep ahead. Yeah. Look, Dave, try holding her steady now. I'm going to go below and see if I can raise old Harry. Yeah, all right. But holler if you need me. Just make it quick. I can manage her. Calling Mars Station, WQ-735. WQ-735. Come in. Come in, WQ-735. Yeah, Dave? You raise Harry yet? Negative. Give it a rest and come up here and see what you can make out. Right. Holy smokes. She's loaded with passengers. That's what I thought, too. Why they don't get them below? Probably because they're already crowded below. Yeah. Hey, now they're trying to get a lifeboat over. There's nothing we can do to help them. We haven't enough power to take them under tow or anything. We'll find out if they've got a radio aboard and, and whether they've sent a message. With what we know about Japanese. Oh, how I wish I'd joined that language course. Well, here goes. Ahoy! Radio What's that mean? I think it means I don't understand. He's saying thanks. You! Radio Sun! Radio Sun! And thank you. Oh. What do you mean? No radio, thank you. Send message, please, I guess. I'm sorry we brought it up. Yeah, particularly if it turns out we can't get through. Watch. Look at the boat. All smashed to pieces against the steamer. They'll never get one over. Well, even if they could, it would only be the ones on the starboard side. Yeah. They're in the lee of the wind. With that, from the looks of the crowd on deck, they'd probably only have half enough. I better get below. That message has got to get through. WQ-735. wq 735. Come in, please. What gives with the auxiliary? Just what I was about to ask you. Can you keep her headed without a day? Well, for a while. At least if things don't get any worse. I'll check and see what the trouble is. Yeah. With the batteries low, we'll have a heck of a time turning her over again. Yeah, well, do what you can. Uh, we've sprung a seam ourselves, and it looks like there, there's water seeping into the fuel tank. Oh, that's great. And now that the pump's off, it'll get worse. Get the hand pump going. Uh, you, know, you can handle topside to keep her from tearing herself apart. Well, we'll rig a sea anchor. That'll help. If you can handle that, I'll, I'll get the pump stopped.
No soap on the kicker. Well, the last starboard boat just went the same way as the others. If there was only some other station that we could reach. Can't think. It's after four. Not a chance to reach Mars at this hour. And that old tub's not going to last until morning, that's for sure. Another very high-frequency radio scene in Japan. Besides, Mars like the telephone circuits, for instance. Holy mackerel, that's it. What's it? Sight. No, they go up there at midnight. Yeah, but what time does the night operator check out the circuits? Four, four. Hey, yeah, you've got something there. I just might have. Except that it's really almost time. And guess who's on duty tonight? Little Miss Efficiency herself, June Clark. Yeah, and she swallowed the SOP, and in the SOP it says all circuits must be checked at 0400. But if she's late, so we've got to hurry. Yeah, to be on when she's calling them in. Right. Okay, Miss Sergeant Clark, if ever in your life you were late, let it be now. Anything? Negative. Not yet. That old tub's settling fast every minute. Yeah. Suppose you should try another circuit? Well, there's VHF circuits all over Japan, of course. But try to hit the one that we'd find someone on able to get the message through. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I don't know, well, Maybe Dave. you should try. Well... Sight one. Sight one. Come in, sight one. Holy mackerel. Close the hatch, yeah. It's hard to read with all that. Yeah, light. right. Sight one. Sight one. Come in, sight one. June? Is this sight one? No. Listen, June. June, this is Bill. Bill Brooks. Sergeant Brooks, will you please get off the line? I'm trying to check my circuit. No, listen, please. This is an emergency. Emergency? Listen closely. I'm reporting a ship that is foundering, and foundering fast. Yours? No, no. It's an excursion steamer, we think, and it's loaded with passengers. What is your position? We're roughly 30 miles south-southeast of Tokyo, maybe two miles off the Chiba coast. You got that? 30 miles south-southeast, two miles off Chiba Peninsula. Right. There's a small island near here. Marushima, it's called on the chart. Are you reading me okay? You're fading a little, but I got the last part. Marushima. Get in touch with the Japanese Ministry of Shipping at once and get hold of the staff duty office. Did you get that? Say again, I can't read. The staff duty officer, June. Say again, I don't read you. How you doing? I don't know. I reached her on the sideline, all right, and I got our position through, but I guess I must have faded out at the end, and well, so did she. Well, what's wrong? I don't know. I'll try to work on it. If I can get it going, I'm pretty sure she'd stay on that line. You tell her it was an emergency? Sure, sure, right at the beginning. Well, let's hope she uses her head. Yeah, yeah, and I think she will. It was a real distress call, sir. Yes, sir. I can't tell you anymore. I got the position they gave me, and then they said it was an excursion steamer. Perhaps the Ministry of Shipping could confirm if one is missing. Well, yes, sir. They faded out then. I'll keep trying to get them, sir. They may come on back again. Time. Yeah, it doesn't look to last another hour the way she's lugging each time she hits a swell. Yeah. No 5.30. One of the message got through, there should be somebody here by now. I'm sure she got the position I gave her. Well, all we can do is hope. Yeah. Hey, listen. Uh, what is it? It's a plane. Hey, it's going past us. Could be anything. Yeah, I guess so. He's coming back. Probably trying to spot us. Still pretty black. The ceiling's almost zero. Maybe I can get through to him. Give him a fix. Where's? Hey, do you think he's gone? He'll keep coming back. Hey! Look! Look, over there! Running lights! It's a boat! Hurry up with the flares. Roger! Right. Here you are. Hey, they've seen us! Look, they're turning. They're coming straight in. Dave, it's the Japanese Coast Patrol. They're getting a tow line ready. Oh. Well, 
I guess all we have to worry about now is getting out of here ourselves. Well, what are you standing there for? Get busy on the pump. Got to get around to the lee side before we found it, too. Right. Your picture and Dave's right on the front page. Hey, I gotta get one of those to send home to the folks. They'll think I'm a celebrity. And you are, too. Oh, heck, your picture's the one that ought to be in there. If it hadn't been for you using your head, we'd have had it. Oh, I didn't really do anything. Look, you went ahead and stuck your neck out when you didn't even hear the whole message. Oh, that. Well, you said it was an emergency, and in the standard operational procedure directive, it very plainly says... That... Should an operator be informed of an emergency situation... <laughs> Today's United States Army is composed of skilled technicians and specialists who have learned their jobs in the world's finest technical schools. And now, the Army is offering you a great opportunity to join this elite group of men and serve your country and yourself at the same time. Your Army now has in operation a great technical training program that permits you to choose your own career from more than 150 courses, ranging from atomic energy to welding. What's more you get that choice of training guaranteed before you enlist. It's called the Reserved for You Training Program, and it works this way. If you're a high school graduate of service age, visit your nearest United States Army recruiting station and make application for the Reserved for You Training Program, stating your preference of a technical course. If you qualify and a vacancy exists, you're awarded a letter that guarantees you a reserved seat in the technical training course of your choice. Now, all this takes place before you enlist, and it places you under no obligation whatsoever. Then, after you enlist and complete your basic training, you're enrolled in your school and begin your career as a highly skilled Army technician. Find out about choice, not chance, now. Visit your nearest United States Army recruiting station and talk it over with the friendly people there. Proudly We Hail, presented transcribed in cooperation with this station. Proudly We Hail is produced by the Recruiting Publicity Center for the United States Army. This is Ralph Rowland inviting you to tune in this same station next week for another interesting story on Proudly We Hail. Proudly We Hail.